guys and welcome to my youtube channel in my last video tutorial i'm moving into an advanced level in excel where i talk about working with excel name ranges so today i'm moving into another advanced level in excel which is called excel if functions all right we are going to take a look at perhaps one of my favorite functions built into Microsoft Excel. We are going to talk about the if functions and the if function isn't just exclusive to Microsoft Excel. Perhaps if you get into any programming languages or you are going to jump into this if function as well too. Now here is an example of an if function file right in front of me and basically it is an everyday example and it is something that you could probably apply to in the morning when you woke up let's take a scenario here think about when you woke up this morning which is more than likely and you probably had an alarm clock set that that went off the alarm clock has a very specific condition that it was looking for as for me i can see when it becomes six o'clock in the morning it should ring a bell and wake me up if it is not six o'clock yet then it should go ahead and wait and wait and wait until it becomes six o'clock this is essentially essentially a condition that was set let us take another scenario again let's let us say if a condition is set is true then i'm going to do something if it is not true then i'm going to do something else now let's bring this same scenario into the world of excel with if function very similar concept now take a look inside of this example file i got some total unit of production in respect of what car make which is what 1625 units these are the total for the four weeks for for these five different car makes production however i want to know is what i want to know is whether or not this individual can make met their what monthly target which is what 470 that is it well once that goal is made that is if if it is true which means is greater than or equal to 470 meaning that the they met the goal and by that condition i will put a big yes right here inside of the one each car make condition which i want to set up inside of what h4 right here all right so which is what was target meant so for each of the two toyota passat volkswagen honda and pontiac vibe well let's look at toyota weekly production which is what 475 compared to our monthly target which is what 470 this is greater than our monthly target that is 470 that is great they met their goal also let's take a look at Volkswagen total weekly production which is what 288 compared to our monthly target that is 470 it didn't make it so I will put a big no right inside of this cell here this is a condition we are looking for if this is true that is if the total weekly production is greater than our monthly target or equal to our monthly target then put yes right here if it is not then we put no this is a fun function and i love this function a lot with this similar example right in front of me here anytime you want to use such function or if e function in an Excel, you have got to make a decision based on some condition when you probably do this a lot maybe comparing days or numbers against each other each other 
or whatever it is get the a functions to do it for you so take a look this is how you work with the if functions now to set this up i'm going to name this this uh, high three right here say high three right here which is what inside of the 417 now i'm going to se select the cell then i'll go up to the name box section right here now rather than calling it high three so i'm going to call this monthly target all right so i'm going to type monthly target all right now let's make sure it's spelled right right and you might have recall in my last video tutorial that no spaces inside of your name ranges all right i will hit my word enter key good so make sure it's accepted and now i have now named my cell high three as my as monthly target all right so inside of my cell h5 right here you can see inside of my cell, cell h5 right that is meant for toyota at the left hand side here i'm going to set up if function condition first for toyota here was the target met to know this i'm going to select cell h5 then go up to my formula tab right here you can see it up here to formula tab and at the top of my screen then i'm going to go into the logical folder right here good then i'm going to look for if you can see if and give it a click now this open up this open up my function argument window where the if function has three argument showing three things that it needs to know in order to open to perform the functions if functions for us so the first the first function argument is to set up is our logical test right or condition and this is what we are looking for so my first logical test i will pick it so my first logical test and uh, test is i will now is that i will i will come down to cell h f f5 right here you can see which is 475 and click on it all right now i want to know if f5 that is total for toyota right here let me drag it down twitter for toyota right here is greater than or equal to that of what our monthly target right here you can see monthly, monthly target so i'm going to type those in those those things in my logical test box all right so that is greater than if f5 is greater than or equal to all right you can see then what high three you can see which is uh, i've already named it as one word monthly target so, so now so this is just a logical test and condition we are looking for that is it if f5 is what greater than what or greater than or equal to my monthly target that is great now on my second option argument below which is if true of if does it value is true or value is false condition i need to designate what is going to happen if that is true and what is going to happen if that is what false but for me i'm going to make this really simple i will say if it is true i'm going to put a big yes all right as soon as i hit my tab key 
you will see that Excel put quotes around it. You can see it right here. Excel put a quote around it. Now, if it doesn't do it, you will need to put quotes around it because it is a test value and it is expected that any test value will be surrounded by quotes. Now, that is the true part of it. On the second option here, on the second option here, the logic there is if you didn't make it, then I'm going to put a big no in the box and I will eat my word, my tab, my tab key. Now you can see, and once again, as I put a quote, you can see it right here. As I put a quote in there, you can see three little things that the super powerful function done with. Is there a function very simple to do? Just look at what you are looking for, and that condition will be evaluated. Just you can just with yes or no or true or false condition involved. That is it. This is great. To you, you can look if you look at Toyota right here, meaning that a is a Toyota may met the target. Now I need to do this. For the rest of them once you do one of them and then use you can now you can then use what the auto fill right in the corner to drag it down you can see you can see the one dragging down good yes yes no 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 so meaning that the toyota met the target passat made the target Volkswagen didn't make the target honda doesn't make the target and also until i didn't make the target so try this out yourself open up any z document jump jump in utilizing a function to specify a condition and tell what you want it to do whether it is true or false condition and confirming if it is multi target target was met or not just try it out and thank you and don't forget to my subscribe to my youtube channel as i'll keep giving you more of the z functions bye